Welcome back to another video. My name is Kyle. Um, today we're going to be throwing it back to the hunting season of 2019 up in Michigan. Um, I went out on opening day and hunted out of an apple crate and actually ended up getting it done on a big mature buck. So stick around, stay tuned. But real quick, I want to just say that I lost all the footage on my camera somehow. I'm not sure how that happened, so I'll be doing some voiceovers, but let's hop right into it. So right off the bat before it ever got light, I had some does come in. Um, and watch them for a little bit and then a few minutes later um, about five minutes after first legal light when you could really start to see I had this half rack buck come in he looked like a two and a half year old I had actually seen him a couple times the week before during bow season um, he was a decent buck but I didn't want to shoot him because he only had one side and I had already filled one of my buck tags on a nice 10 pointer so I watched that half rack buck and then another little small yearling buck just kind of mill around and eat for a while Eventually that half rack buck moved over and started ripping up this scrape here. Okay, so I watched those two bucks and a bunch of does filter through and feed all morning, uh, but no shooters came through. I didn't really see anything from like 9 till 11, um, and then around 11, 15, I had some more uh, yearling deer come in right here. So as the yearlings kind of moved out right around 11.30ish, um, I tried to do a midday update for you guys and kind of show you what my setup was in that apple crate. Um, right here you can see I'm trying to zoom in behind me. Um, and you can see there's a lot of brush right behind me and like um, undergrowth so it was hard to see I only had that one little clearing that I could see through and that's actually key for how I ended up shooting my buck. So right at 1230 I had a deer snort right behind me. Um, I didn't know what it was I wasn't looking that direction but I knew it was a deer and I knew he smelled me so I knew I was kind of stuck and couldn't really quick turn around and look at what it was because he probably pinned me and take off so I slowly started to reach for my camera, turned it on, spun it around slowly to try to see what it was. I slowly turned my head over as I'm grabbing my shotgun and the first thing I see is just tines and I know it's a shooter. I don't know what it is, I just know it's big and it's, yep. it's got a lot of mass. So I grab my shotgun. So as it's running away, I literally yell, hey, and he happened to stop right in a clearing for me. I had about two seconds to make the shot, made the shot and watched him run off. But I didn't know what to think of it. I thought I made a good shot. I didn't know how big the buck was. I just knew he was a pretty heavy buck. So I sat there for a while, gave him some time, called my dad. And when my dad showed up, we went off and started the track job. Guys, um, I just went through some of the footage and I'm pretty sure all the audio was turned off, unfortunately. I don't know, I must have bumped a switch on the camera or something, but 
Um, anyways, I'm going to walk you through what happened since uh, all my explaining didn't do anything before. So um, all morning long we had deer filtering up behind uh, my truck here where there's a couple apples on the trees yet. Um, so they were there, I had does within 10 yards of me basically all morning long. Um, the scrape the one buck was making was just over here. This is the crate I was in. Um, so we saw probably 20 deer right away and total of 24. Um, around 11.30 I saw a couple does hop up out of beds and that thick stuff and come out and feed for a while and go back. And then at 12.20 um, I heard a deer snort behind me somewhere. And I got all this stuff kind of behind me so it's hard to see. So I spin around and I'm looking for what it is or whatever. I know it's pretty close. And um, I don't see it in my one kind of clearing. And then I look through this brush, the thicker brush, and all I see is rack at like probably 60 yards. And I'm like, oh no. So that buck must have smelled me because the wind was swirling a little he bit. Was behind me, so I had to pick up my gun and get all the way spun around. And then I was debating whether or not even trying to mess with the camera because it looked like he was really about to just take off. And so I actually did flip the camera on, but I didn't mess with zoom or anything. He started trotting away, probably went another 20 yards. And then the, right, right as I clicked the camera on, like I shoot him like a couple seconds after. It's zoomed out, but you still have it in the frame. And uh, I, I'm pretty sure I made a perfect shot on him. And then he ran up over the hill behind me and I haven't looked yet. So we're gonna go get on the blood trail right now. Like I said, middle of the day, I was planning on sitting all day. Um, and then 12:20 he rolled around. So go see if we can't find him. I don't know exactly where he was. Like we could figure it out with the storm, but we're just gonna walk out there and see if we can't find blood. I saw blood pumping out, so. I see blood straight ahead, Kyle. And the snow on the left. See it? Oh yeah. Well, that might be where I first shot it. Oh, look at the blood down here. Yeah. Oh, oh my yeah, good. Holy cow! Look at this. <laughs> I gotta get this on camera. Right where I shot him. Hold on. I I'm... told you I made a good shot. You can literally look at, look at behind it. It sprayed that far. You can literally. Uh, I'm gonna zoom in on this. See if I can catch it on the camera or not. See blood. <laughs> For the next 50 yards, I'm not going to tell you when I see him because... So this is where I shot him. Look back at the crate now, what it would have looked like with me in it. So I, I actually yelled at him. You can't, obviously the audio is off, but to make him stop, I just yelled at him because he was trotting and let him have it right here. Okay. I just guessed he was about 50, but show right here. Zoom out right here. So this is the first spot where I hit him and then pan out here and look at how far the blood sprayed out of him. Holy like, cow. It's like at least 10 feet behind that. Wow, the snow accentuates it too. Yeah. I thought I saw the plow right here. Look at that. That's ridiculous. This reminds me of that one when we were muzzle loading up in uh, Sand Lake. Yeah. I'm trying not to look too far ahead of No, I know. You want me to go up there first and then have you come in? Look at all this blood. Crazy. He went an amazing distance. I don't see him yet. I don't either. But I'm not looking either. I know. I thought he piled up right here. Look at that though. Tough track though. I didn't even have time to even look at that for like points or anything. It's just one of those where you look up and just know it's a shooter. Unquestionably. Oh my gosh! Oh. What? <laughs> that <laughs> thing's a stud. I told you he's weird. He doesn't have a lot of points. No. I thought that coming in. Wow. Well. Oh my God. Holy cow! I I. Congrats, dude. Holy cow, that thing is tall. Yeah, look at that shot. This is perfect. Wow. What the heck is wrong with that buck? Holy cow. What do you mean what's wrong with him? He's awesome. That's the biggest six point I've ever seen. Holy cow. Holy cow. Dude, I've never felt mass like that. Look at that thing. Good shot, I'd say. Wow. Well, that's something. <laughs> I don't know if... What a cool deer. 
that will be forever your biggest six point ever taken. Oh, yeah, look at that. How it curls right up, that's crazy. What a stud. You wanna come over here and get some shots with the sun behind me? Look at these things, they go backwards. Both brows kick back, it's weird. He like claws off, the main beams curl way up. It's a weird looking buck and he's so old and you can see the mass even way out here. Can't even hardly get your hands around it. He's just a freak, really. Big old body on him, big neck. So that's what I saw coming in, just that huge claw. And I was like, oh no. You can tell he's been rubbing up quite a bit recently. 